All right, guys, welcome back. Unfortunately, our 13600K build, our CPU is overheating. The moment we run a bench test, it hits 100C within seconds. Let's get started on fixing that problem. All right, first place I went is the BIOS. We're going to try to undervolt. I don't know officially how to do it, but I've um, the easiest way I found is to go into the, where is it? the cpu light load and it was on mode 16 and i changed it to mode 9. so after these changes let's run the test again and see where we sit as far as temperature hopefully this fixes it so now we're running cpu z and as you can see it hits 91 or 92 c uh, we're pulling about 150 to 173 watts um, so we're pulling a lot less power um but we are still hitting 92 c so let's keep going i think at this point we need to pull the cpu block and kind of see what's going on with it okay that took a minute but we got the water block off and looking in i see a little bit of debris but nothing crazy yet um on the back i did use corsair tm30 thermal paste and it looks like a pretty good adhesion um, I did take it off the frame here because uh, I didn't want to take all the wiring off, but everything looks okay. Okay, tearing the water block apart, you can see there's a lot more gunk in there than I thought. Um, one of the goals of this project was to get all used parts, and this one I should have cleaned it out a little bit better. There could have been debris in other parts. Yeah, but let's get this uh, block cleaned out and see how much our temps get lowered. So here's a block now. You can see it's a lot... It's been cleaned out just use a toothbrush and some soap and uh we'll get it put back together all right so we are going to install that contact frame now uh, i don't think there's any warping at this time but i don't want it to be an issue in the future um we should get some reduction in temperatures hopefully um so for a five dollar fix um hopefully we get some good temp reduction out of it we're gonna put a little bit of isopropyl alcohol and put on our thermal paste and I'm going to go a step further and we're going to get the cryo knot thermal paste because this does offer a reduction in temperatures as well. And I'm going to do a pressure test since we dismantled our CPU block to just make sure there's no leaks because that would be bad. And as we can see here, we are sitting at 73C with the full load. So we've had a total of almost an 18 degree in temperature. And since we started, we went from 100 down to 73 C. We're, we're using less power and everything's sitting a lot lower. Um, and then let's check out gaming performance. So I am playing a little older game, uh, Need for Speed Payback, because I'm trying to Trying to complete that whole line. Um, as we can see here, we're standing about high 50s to lower 60s while gaming. 44 to 50% load. Um, I don't know if we're going to get lower than this. Uh, one thing I do want to say is the ambient um, testing that we are doing here is at the room is going to be at um, 28 degrees C. So that's about 80 to 83 degrees. I do have a wood stove. So my room does run a lot hotter. Um, if I were to sit at like a 72 degree room, I'm pretty sure we'll see the CPU temps and the GPU temps a little bit lower. Okay, going back to our test here, we can see we also um, have pretty good flow here. Um, the flow meter is actually spinning. And then if we look at the water temp, we're sitting about 3132 C on our fluid temp. So that's pretty good considering our room is at 28 C anyways. Um, and then a couple other infos. We are spinning at 3500 RPMs on our pump. When the original 91 C test or 100 C, we were spinning at 4800. So we did have a thousand RPM reduction on our pump as well. So things are running a lot quieter. Um, as you can see here, this test has been running for a while. We're sitting about 76C, and I'm pretty comfortable with it because, like I said, the room is, the ambient temperature is pretty warm. Um, if you guys have any other suggestions, 
on how we can get temps lower. Um, we can kind of try it out in the next video. Uh, and I want to know in the comments below, what do you guys think was the main fix for reducing temps? Do we think it was the water block, the contact frame, using the cryo knot, thermal paste? Um, I really want to hear from you guys uh, what was the issue. And once again, um, um, thanks for watching, guys. And uh, we'll see you in the next video.